On a farm just 20 minutes drive northwest of Griffith at Tabata, one company is investing in their future. Webster's Walnuts have finished the first stage of their recently purchased 1,000 hectare Avondale West property, of which 900 hectares will be planted to walnuts. Webster's engaged design company MWH and the professional services of Iribiz to ensure a seamless installation of their systems. Avondale West has been split into quarters for ease of management during the installation and development stages. Each quarter is approximately 225 hectares. Stage 1 has recently been completed and Stage 2 will commence in 2015. Water from the War Wall lift pump station, part of the Murrumbidgee Irrigation Supply Network, is delivered just under 2 kilometres via two bait screw turbine pumps, one diesel and one electric, through a 710 mm rising main to their newly constructed 800 megalitre dam. There is also provision for two additional electric bait screw turbine pumps and a 630 mm rising main for when additional volume is required once the property has reached maturity. From the dam, the water is pressurised and filtered for the field irrigation. The dam pump station currently consists of two Grunfoss pumps coupled to six pole Tico motors and two Amiad Omega 130 micron fully automatic screen filters, with additional room for expansion to a total of 10 pump and motor pairings and six filters. Both the pumps and filters will be upgraded when additional volume is required. The pressurised and filtered water is then pumped to any one of the four quarters of the farm. The entire farm can be irrigated in one shift. Each quarter has their own mainline and individual water meters. Automation of the property is managed by two controllers. A MoTeC IraNet system for irrigation scheduling and field valve control and an IBIS controls platform which manages both the lift and damp pump automation as well as the fertigation systems. Each block has its own backup automatic Sigma screen filters and pressure reducing valves before being delivered through a Netafim drip net drip line to the walnut trees. According to the Australian Nut Industry Council, in 2010 roughly 2,980 hectares was under cultivation for walnuts in Australia. Webster's Limited is the largest walnut grower owning and managing over 2,200 hectares and once development is complete, over 15,000 tonnes of in-shell nuts can be expected to be harvested by Webster's Limited each year. Australia has the opportunity to become a reliable exporter of counter-season walnuts to the Northern Hemisphere. The Southern Hemisphere produces just 3% of traded walnuts annually, and for six months of the year Australia can supply the freshest walnuts in the world. 